Hey guys, here's just a, a quick video of something that just kind of showed up. I had a stack of magnets here. Um, <laughs> I was just sort of playing around with them and found this interesting effect where this cylinder magnet will balance right on its, its edge there. Um, if I can get, get it to focus, just balances right on its corner, which is pretty interesting. So, I just thought I would share that, because it's, it's just pretty cool the way, it, uh, the way it finds itself to line up with that field. The other cool thing I wanted to show was, this is just a regular carbon flame-proof resistor, and if, if I bring it out here to the edge, I can feel there's a little, a little pocket right there when it comes out over the edge. But once I go past that pocket and let go, the the magnet will actually spin around. Or not magnet, resistor. Why it does that, I don't know. But it, for some reason it's it has to do with the polarity and uh, I find it interesting. So I just thought I'd make a video of some interesting stuff, just a sort of documentation on that, of some of the interesting things. Also, while I'm thinking of it, I had an idea for, for a schematic, and um, talked about it on the energetic forum, floating MOSFET idea. Regular Ainsley circuit, you know, the standard MOSFET, come off of the uh, timer right into an optocoupler and feed that to a floating MOSFET. So the optocoupler goes to the drain, and then we have a pull up resistor off of the, I'm sorry, optocoupler goes to the gate, and then we have a, a resistor, pull up resistor to. to bring that over to the uh, to the gate. It pulls the gate up, but when the optocoupler is activated, voila, gate is drawn down to whatever the source value is, which turns off the MOSFET. So if this guy's off, then a regular inductor doesn't have to be an inductive resistor. A regular inductor will charge up, and then when this guy turns off, then the optocoupler turns on. And when the optocoupler turns on, then we get a collapse. And what does that do? That lets that inductive energy, which is out of phase about 90 degrees with its current, flows through the MOSFET and, oh, goes through a capacitor. Well, what happens when you have a, a waveform going from an inductor to a capacitor? It brings the phase shift back. So now we have all that energy back in phase to go into a load lamp. <laughs> Anyways, just thought I'd share that. It was just an idea. It may or may not work. You can simulate it and see. But anyways, there you go. Some interesting stuff about how the magnetic waves or magnetic fields are shaped. Huh? And also that that resistor thing it's so weird this spins around doesn't matter anyways there we go